Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Profitable Interior Designer. I am Nancy's associate coach, Leslie Myrick. Nancy can't be here this morning, so I get to come to you solo to discuss a topic that I'm very excited and passionate about. We are talking about unlocking interior design efficiency, specifically how to crush business overwhelm. Oh my gosh, getting organized as an interior designer is tough. We have a bajillion moving parts in our businesses. We have to-dos from clients, from our staff. We've got deadlines. We've got meetings. We've got contractors calling us. It is so easy to slip into overwhelm and feel like you're in reactive mode from the first minute in the morning all the way through your day. So I'm going to dive in with some helpful tips, but first, please go ahead, subscribe, so you'll never miss an episode of our Thursday morning Profitable Interior Designer Show. All right, let's talk about overwhelm and the chaos of overwhelm. Listen, unless you have a really tight, buttoned up, organized, efficient process, you're going to feel overwhelmed. You're going to feel that chaos happening around you every day. And there are consequences of overlooked tasks and last minute surprises. You know, if you forget to let your tile guy know the layout of the backsplash tile and you go on site and it's installed wrong, that's a whole new problem that was created simply because you were overwhelmed and weren't thinking through the details. So it's really, really important to address the root causes of these overwhelming situations. Yes, your tile guy installed it wrong, but why? Where in the process did that break down? What is the root cause of that happening? Very likely, it's that you were overwhelmed and missed communicating that detail with your team. So, okay, we know we're all overwhelmed. So how do we break the cycle? How do we break out of overwhelm and become more efficient and organized? Let's be real. This is not going to happen overnight. It is going to be a step-by-step-by-step solution incrementally. And I want to remind you, because it's easy to think, oh, a little bit won't matter. Like my business needs a complete overhaul. It's that compound effect. It's that effect of doing a little bit every day consistently that gets you real lasting results in your business. So here is what Nancy and I want to suggest to you. With this idea of tackling overwhelm incrementally, I want you today to look at your calendar for the week and set aside one hour, that's it, just one hour, not that big a deal, of focused time. And what you're going to do during that time is address specific issues, the biggest pressing pressing issues in your business. What is the biggest thing right now that's causing you to feel overwhelmed? What's the biggest issue that's weighing you down? What's one thing you could knock off your to-do list and feel a million times better about your business and your life if you got done? Use that time, block it off, protect it, and... I know it's hard. Trust me. I know you're saying, but, but I know I'm, I'm there in the trenches with you. I'm also running a design business. It is freaking hard to set aside fires, <laughs> to set aside things that feel super urgent and important to take an hour to pull back out of your business and get some things done on the back end. But this is going to pay dividends. And these step-by-step incremental changes are what's going to transform your business. Okay, so other things I want you to think about when you are tackling overwhelm and trying to be more efficient. We want you to utilize delegation, automation, and outsourcing. I also want to add something to that, and I want you to press the delete button. There are probably tasks on your list that can be deleted. They don't even need to be delegated or outsourced to somebody else. They can just go away. And again, you're probably like, but lastly, everything on my list has to get done. What does it? Like truly. And this is going to be hard, but are there things that have just become part of your business process that are there because they're there? Are there things that aren't working well? Are there networking groups you're a part of that really aren't serving your business that you could give up? Are there events on your calendar? Are there appointments? Are there tasks that you do? Do you write? A weekly blog, maybe you can delete three of those and write a monthly blog, things like that, where you really need to be able to pull yourself out of the business for a little bit and look at this thousand foot view. Because when we're so in the weeds every single day, 
we don't see that there's even options to change how we're doing things to get out of overwhelm. Okay, I'd love for you to look at some things to delete. Also, let's talk about delegation, automation, and outsourcing. You, business owner, awesome designer sitting there watching this or listening to this are probably the problem in your business. You are probably the bottleneck, and I think you know that. You, We cannot do everything. I know we want to. We're amazing. We've all bootstrapped it. We started these businesses when it was just us, and we did everything. And there gets to be a point where that is no longer viable. That is no longer sustainable. And this is part of why you are feeling overwhelmed. So delegating, automating, outsourcing. Outsourcing can look like hiring a virtual assistant and having them do administrative tasks. I love my VA. One of the things she does for me that I am so grateful for is that when we have made all of our design selections, she goes and gets all the pricing, confirms lead times, checks stocks, creates our purchase orders, creates our invoices. And I just have to double check everything, get payment from the client. And she handles all the ordering. That has been huge because I get really overwhelmed and bogged down by numbers. Passing that off to someone else has been amazing in lifting that chaotic feeling from my business. So do you have a team member you can delegate to? Can you outsource your renderings, your floor plans, sourcing it you know what are the things that you don't love to do but have to get done bookkeeping is an obvious one can you outsource can you delegate some of your tasks to a team member so that you have more time freed up to focus on your vital priorities in the business the things that only you as the business owner can do and let's talk about automation and systems oh my gosh these things are game changers life changers If you are not utilizing templates for your email responses, if you are not using a project management system or task management system, I should say, like Asana, where you can lay out how a project runs from start to finish and repeat that process every time, automating those things, automating emails, automating your processes, automating calendar bookings, using software to book appointments, not just your initial consultation calls, but using the software to schedule your consultations, your concept design meetings, your detailed design meetings, so that email reminders are automatic. These are the kind of things that, yes, they take a little while to set up. Yes, there's some tech hurdles to get over, but they're going to change your business. And again, free you up from the chaos and overwhelm to do what you can do best. I know already I've given you a ton of things that's probably more (laughs) overwhelming, but I just want you to know there's options out there to improve these things. And if you need help with them, that's what Nancy and I are here for. And I'll tell you more about that in a little while. So the last tip I want to leave you with, we've talked about the chaos of overwhelm and what happens and these last minute surprises. We've talked about how to break the cycle, working at little things step by step one hour a week, blocking it out to start working on that back end of your business and improving your systems. We've talked about delegating, outsourcing, and deleting crap that does not even need to be done for your business. Finally, I want to talk about how to take action for lasting change. So you've got that hour on your calendar and you're going to sit down and do it and you're going to make progress. You need to take immediate action after that dedicated hour. Don't let the decisions you make, don't let the ideas you had, don't let the changes just float away, but make sure that you are assigning tasks, putting things on calendars, deleting appointments from calendars, whatever needs to be done. Make sure there's action in place so that you can move forward and start easing up this stress and overwhelm. One easy way that you can work on this is create a free calendar with your availability and add the link to your website and social media for consultation calls. Calendly, Squarespace scheduling, there's a lot of great free ones out there. This is one small thing that you can do today if you're not already doing it. Put a booking link on your website, have clients book their own consultation calls, and that's one less thing that you are dealing with all the time. And you're no longer the barrier to entry. If you are waiting days, weeks to respond to potential client inquiries, you're losing business. If you can automate this, get out of the overwhelm, have them book it directly, that is one action you can take this week for a big improvement in your business. And before we go, I want to remind you that consistent efforts lead to gradual change. Do not expect this to happen overnight. Do not beat yourself up if this doesn't happen overnight. Consistent effort 
leads to change. That compound effect, little things every day, every week, and it will start to snowball and you'll gain momentum and it will get easier and easier and easier. And yes, it's going to be challenging in the beginning. This is not going to feel (laughs) comfortable or natural, but you wouldn't be here as a business owner if you didn't want that. That is what we signed up for. There's a reason not everyone owns a design business because it is a challenge, but I know that you are here for that and are ready to step up. So I want to invite you to the Profit Insiders Academy. We put so much focus in that program on creating efficient systems because it has such a huge impact on your ability to grow your business and find success, to find that work-life balance, to find that profitability. We have a new Profit Insiders Academy group starting in September. It is a year-long cohort, an incredible program with live coaching with Nancy and I, with walkie-talkie support all the time, access to our Profit Insiders Essentials membership site with all of our courses and programs. It's so much, and it is an incredible year that I cannot wait to have you there and see where you are from where you start to where you end up a year from now. So if you are ready to free yourself from design chaos and you want Nancy and I to guide you through that process, we would love to do that. Go to nancygansacoffer.com and click the link in the top banner to apply. Get on Nancy's calendar for an application review call and she will let you know if you are a great fit for the program. You might be thinking, but I'm so overwhelmed. I don't even have time to do that. And that's exactly why you need to do it so that you can have the accountability and the resources and the guidance to get yourself out of overwhelm in your business. So as we wrap up today, I want to ask you, what is one step that you are going to take today to get out of overwhelm? Maybe it's getting that hour on your calendar. Maybe it's canceling a meeting you didn't want to go to anyway to give yourself some more time. Maybe it's answering an email that you have let linger and it's driving you nuts. What is one thing that you are going to do today? One step you're going to take to start the process of getting yourself out of overwhelm. Please leave a comment wherever you're watching this. I would love to read it. And I want everyone else to read them too and get inspired by the actions that the amazing interior designers around you are taking as well. So have a wonderful week. Thank you for being here for this solo episode of the Profitable Interior Designer. And I and Nancy will see you next week. Bye, everyone.